Hello everyone. Welcome to Artos Logics. I am back with a basic video on understanding the need of a real-time operating system in an embedded system. Many a times people fail to understand the terminologies like an embedded system, a real-time embedded system and a real-time operating system ATOS. Embedded system is a system or a controller which is designed to perform certain dedicated functions mainly consists of software, memory and a processor. It also contains different types of inputs and outputs. Inputs may be sensors, buttons, control knobs and communication signals from other embedded systems or other controllers. Sensors may be temperature sensors, pressure sensors, flow sensors, speed sensor, light sensor, vibration sensors, etc. And outputs can be displays, communication signals to other embedded systems and controllers and actuators or motors like torque motor, servo motor, stepper motor and many many more. Embedded systems are everywhere in washing machines, microwave ovens, mobile phones, digital camera, video game consoles, automobiles, aerospace and many many more. Take example of a car today. It comprises of so many embedded systems like anti-lock braking system, airbag system, multimedia, digital radio, lane warning, display system, cruise control and collision warning and many many more. Now what is a real-time embedded system? Any embedded system is a real-time embedded system if it has a time constraint. If an embedded system has to respond to a given input within a tightly constrained time frame, for example an airbag system in a car can be considered as a real-time embedded system. A flight control system in an aircraft is a real-time embedded system. If an embedded system is as small and as simple as processing some external inputs, maybe sensors and controlling some output devices, maybe one or more actuators and this can be handled using a single process or a task within the application software then there is absolutely no need of a real-time operating system RTOS and such a basic embedded system can be layered as hardware, IO devices, device drivers which are nothing but embedded software modules to operate the hardware devices and then an application software which processes the different inputs and commands the outputs based on the application need. Now if your embedded system is a little complex and you would like to manage it with the optimum use of its resources then you will need to include a real-time operating system in your embedded system. Take this example a robotic arm uh, having let's say six joints which are also called as axis which needs to be controlled accurately. In this case, you would be required to separate the application functionality to multiple tasks. Each task or a thread controlling each of the joint or axis of the robotic arm. This is how an embedded system looks like when an RTOS is included. There are many RTOSs available in the market like VxWorks, QNX, MicroCOS, etc. The RTOS helps provide multitasking by scheduling your application tasks for execution based on priorities you set to those tasks. There are many features and useful characteristics of an ATOS which helps your embedded system achieve real-time constraints. I will talk about those other features in my next videos. Thanks for watching. Subscribe my channel for more videos.